Thank you. Well, it won't be long. This coming Monday, many in the U.S. will stop and look upward for the great American solar eclipse. And in fact, many of us will be ooing and eyeing at the sights in the sky. I think the last time this happened was back in 2017, so it's a lot to ooh and awe about. Mm -hmm. NASA will also be busy looking at the eclipse, but for a different reason, research. Meteorologist Melissa Nord has that story. Monday, the moon will block the sun's disk, creating a total solar eclipse across the U.S. In that short span of minutes, science experiments and observations will be taking place along the entirety of the path. We're measuring a number of different things about the corona and also how the sun impacts the Earth and Earth's uh, atmosphere. For the sun, we're looking at uh, the complexity of the corona and why the corona is so much hotter than the main body of sun below it. And we're looking at how the Earth's atmosphere responds to this reduction of sunlight. In the air, NASA pilots will fly WB-57 research jets high in altitude, chasing the darkness. Five experiments will be on board each, which includes these telescopes that will capture images of the corona. A total solar eclipse is like nature's perfect coronagraph. The moon comes between us and the sun, and it's exactly the right size in the sky to block out the disk of the sun, but not too much more. You know, we've been studying the sun for quite a long time. We still have a lot of open questions. In just six minutes of totality to collect data, they hope to later understand why the corona is millions of degrees hotter than the surface of the sun and more on the origins of solar wind. From the ground, over 50 groups of college students along the path will be releasing special weather balloons during the event to see how the atmosphere responds to the cold, dark shadow of the moon. But a larger pool of research in the eclipse will come from citizen science. NASA-funded experiments where you can take part and help contribute to science. Some are as simple to participate in as just downloading an app. Put your phone down, enjoy the eclipse, and you have made a unique and valuable contribution to a NASA science project. In the quick moments of Bailey's Beads, the Sun Sketcher app hopes to get a more accurate depiction of the size of the sun. It's very important for this project that as many people participate as possible. With numerous options to pick from, NASA is making it hard not to participate Monday in the name of science. In the name of science. Really interesting information there. And there's a whole eight different citizen science projects. They're all like on your phone, on your app. So whether you're going to totality or you just hear in partial eclipse mm -hmm. and you want to contribute yeah. to the data points, you can do so. There's more online on their website. That's really awesome. Thank you so much for Thanks bringing us here. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Okay, and 11 Alive will have live coverage of the eclipse. We will be live from Stone Mountain Park and the TELUS Science Museum in Cartersville Monday, beginning at noon. And in the buildup to the eclipse, there has been a lot of excitement. Even though we don't see totality here in this week, our team of meteorologists have been across the metro area doing a lot of different solar eclipse talks. So we've been at libraries, senior citizen centers, and also at the Children's Museum. I was there earlier this week. You can see Andrew there with two kids holding up examples of the size of the moon and the sun and the earth. And it's just been so fun to just see people getting excited for science. Let's take another look at the eclipse path for Monday. And again, we don't see totality here. It's about 80% of the sun covered up. The max eclipse for us is around 3 in the afternoon. We're going to unfortunately see increasing clouds during the day on Monday. But it's still, we might be able to see a partial view of that. And Chris is going to get a much closer look at that for you tomorrow here at 4 o'clock of what the cloud cover is expected here and along the path of totality. There's a very slim chance Monday we could see a chance of rain, but that rain chance is just 20%. So. Hopefully that cloud cover holds off a little bit longer over the weekend for us and doesn't move in until after the eclipse.